Submitting Intelligence Report, Log 97, to Elder Ital of Sukan Keep. Due to the recent catastrophe on Kalimothka, the Kaidan and Major Joram have directed their attention to unraveling this calamity. As his closest bloodkin and member of his council, I must inform you of a relic from the Old Covenant that has arisen in recent years. Our brothers from the fringes of Songhili space have reported sightings of a San Shayum similar to the one who attacked the Shadow of Intent, a prelate of the Old Guard. We had all thought they had perished with the Fallen Empire. Apparently, I've compiled our intelligence on them from the Shadow of Intent's database, along with Shipmaster Vadum's debriefing. The prelates were an order of San Shayum warriors that served as the highest authority on the battlefield. I have heard a number of your representatives scoff or otherwise dismiss these claims, but with all due respect to you, Elder, heed the words of one who has served under the Blade of the Covenant. These warriors were more than a match to any Songhili I know, and being San Shayum, their authority over all under them was absolute. Out of all foreigner tech, the Prophet struggled with unlocking the secrets of genetic engineering. This was mainly because the technologies were designed more for their own use rather than that of other species. The San Shayum also tended to frown upon anything that may have interfered with their means of reproduction, something that was already unreliable. From what Shipmaster Drakel has told me, only the Ministry of Preparation was willing to further advance into this field, and their labors resulted in one of the deadliest warriors in the Covenant, arguably a match for the demons of humanity. San Shayum Chosen were subjugated to genetic, physical, and chemical augmentations. With training, the prelates could consciously release hormones into their bodies to further advance their fighting capabilities. There were dangers to this, however. If pushed too far, these warriors risk sudden exhaustion, seizures, and in rare cases, death. The armor of a prelate included an anti-gravity belt that could be utilized to quickly propel themselves into various directions, or allow them to engage in limited flight. The armor also included a gauntlet composed of hard light, which, when activated, produces a crescent blade on the forearm, as well as a shield of hard light to deflect shots that manage to connect with a highly mobile prelate. They were also likely trained in wide variety of combat styles. The prelates were considered formidable foes, powerful enough to give even veteran Sanghili pause. I must emphasize, these warriors are not to be taken lightly. Their role in the Great Schism could have seen the end of any resistance our people could have mustered, were it not for the chaos created by the Flood. No Songhili shipmaster had wanted to give up the possibility of frontline glory to train Jirohanai in the operation of underpowered, surplused ships. The prelates, however, were more than willing. They were considered purely technical advisors, but this was a half-truth. On the orders of the High Prophet of Truth, these prelates secretly helped their savage pets retrofit their vessels and trained them to fight Songhili. Most of these prelates were killed during the fall of High Charity by both We Songhili and the Flood, yet one had survived this massacre. Tembetek, servant of the accursed Minister of Preparation. The Minister poured lies into his mind that Artas Vadum killed his wife and child when High Charity fell, and after the war, this prelate vowed vengeance against the Halfjaw. Attacking colony after colony, he drew the attention of the Shipmaster and was captured after a failed attempt to kill him. Vadum then revealed the truth that his family were still alive long before the cleansing of the Holy City. Batek then turned on his allies and sacrificed himself to destroy the Minister and the prototype Halo he had intended for his vengeance on the Songhili. In the end, this prelate had proven himself honorable, a virtue little known to his kind. 
As far as we know from our intelligence, the surviving San Shayun flotilla is somewhere on the outskirts of our galaxy. We do not know how many prelates defend these fleets, but know that we are preparing our warriors to fight these worthy opponents should they once again set their sights on Sunk Helios. I must go now. I must oversee our regiments from any possible attack. Victory to clan and kin elder. This is Security Officer Duras Kafum, signing off.